Hey, this is Franken, man. What's up, man? Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video for entertainment purposes only, whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It may not necessarily be factual. Don't let what I say in this video be the determining factor as to whether you should buy, sell, or hold a stock. No, when it comes to our short squeeze play and when it comes to AMC, man, I think it's time for retail investors to start demanding that the board and Adam Aaron demand that they stand up for retail investors and that they do something about fighting the criminal activity that's taking place in the stock. Because if you if you can look at if you look at what's going on, man, these criminal short sellers, you know, and these hedge funds, they're not going to stop trying to short our stock and destroy AMC unless we stand up. You see what I'm saying? And the way that, in my opinion, one of the ways that you can stand up to the devil and these criminal short sellers is you got to hurt their pocket. Because, see, it don't look like the powers to be going to do anything. It don't look like politicians are going to do anything. So, man, you have to hurt their pocket. And one of the best ways to hurt their pocket is through a short squeeze play like AMC or any short squeeze play. You got to hurt their pocket. You see what I'm saying? And see, man, you know, we've been openly going up against the powers to be and being real critical of them as to, you know, them not doing anything, you know, anything to fight the illegal neck is showing without stock. We've been going up against the one percenters and the devil talking about them. But I think, man, it's time for retail investors, like I said, to demand that the board as well as Adam Aaron do something about the illegal naked shorting that's running through our company, as well as them destroying the value of our stock and destroying the value of the company. It's time for them to do something about it. You see what I'm saying? And I hate to say this, man, and a lot of people get upset, but this kissing Adam Aaron ass and blindly worshiping him, man, it's not working. It's not doing any good. It's not being effective. You see what I'm saying? We've been doing, some people have been doing that for like over two years now. And it's not working. We're still in the same condition that we're in, man, and even worse. And I know taking 90% of our shares is not the solution to the problems that AMC is having, you know, as a result of them not doing their job properly and being negligent, you know, as far as doing something about the criminal activity that's going on and the illegal naked short. Taking 90% of our shares, man, is not going to stop that. That's not the solution to the problem. And see, man, if you look at West Christian, West Christian, man, and it's funny, man, how some people, it's stupid, man. A man of his level, man, and his statue, you got some people, man, want to try to, you know, d destroy his character or say negative, thing about, negative things about him. Just because, man, he's advocating that CEOs as well as Adam Aaron do something about the criminal activities going on in the stock. They don't want to say nothing about the CEOs not doing their job, but they want to attack West Christian character. It's stupid. But like I was saying, man, this man has been the lawyer, man, for a long time. You see what I'm saying? He's been dealing with stock market manipulation and criminal activity that's, activity that's going on on Wall Street for a long time. And he know what the one percenters are doing, man. He know what CEOs are doing. You see what I'm saying? And he stated in a video that I just watched, it was clips of it on the Marine show. He stated that, man, that the board has a fiduciary, which many of us have said, the board has a fiduciary relationship to the company. You know, a board, a board has a fiduciary relationship to a company. In our case, it'd be our board having a fiduciary relationship to AMC. If that board believes that fraud is taking place and illegal neck is short, man, they have a duty to take action and to do something about it. But see, the way it looked, it looked like, man, the board, as well as Adam Aaron, they haven't done anything about the, the illegal neck is short and the criminal activity that's going on in AMC. You see what I'm saying? And see, my thing is, maybe the reason, no, that's why I feel like maybe the reason why they saying that it ain't no illegal neck is short because they trying to protect themselves. 
what they call the plausible deniability, try to act like, man, they don't know it exists, although they know it's there. So they're trying to protect themselves. So if something come up or we say something, they can always say, man, well, we didn't see any evidence of illegal naked short. When they know it exists, but it's just that, man, they don't want to do anything about it. You see what I'm saying? And in my opinion, as a result of this, this is my opinion, as a result of the illegal naked short and the criminal activity that's going on, you know, in our stock, I feel like the company has lost millions of dollars, man, and retail investors, and retail investors have lost millions of dollars. And here's one, another major problem. And to me, this is stupid. Why would they do something, man, if you got all some of these content creators coming out saying, well, it ain't Adam Aaron's job to do anything about the illegal naked short. Man, that's crazy to come out and tell this man that, hey, man, if it's some criminal activity and legal neck showing going on with the stock, it's not your job to take time out to do anything about it. Just focus on this. I mean, why would he do something, man, when he's looking at social media and you got people telling him something as stupid as this? That he, it's not his job to do anything about the illegal naked show. That's why I said, man, sometimes I think the shareholders have been uh, even a bigger problem than Adam Aaron sometimes. Because it is his job to do something about it. You see what I'm saying, man? You know, like West Christian said, said, if you see fraud or illegal activity going on in your stock, phantom shares, naked shorting, you are obligated as the board and the CEO to hire somebody professionally to come in and do some type of analytics, man, and to try to see, you know, what's going on with your stock. If you actually had these phantom shares running through your company and see all these people that was on YouTube, that was on Twitter saying that, you know, Adam Aaron, man, he can't talk about illegal naked shorting for legal reasons because he's a CEO. Everybody now see, man, that that was all bullshit. Like a lot of stuff, man, when it comes to people trying to protect Adam Aaron and not making him do his job is all bullshit. People see that that was BS, man, because CEOs are standing up right now. And they taking action. Adam Aaron just ain't doing anything. You see what I'm saying? So, man, look. If, if in the future, the way it look like this thing going, man, if CEOs in these companies don't want to do anything about the legal naked showing the criminal activities taking place in the stock, a lot of them, man, finna start being exposed. Because they're obligated to do something about it. If they're not going to do anything about it, man, they're going to be exposed. And what's going to happen is that a lot of retail investors are going to start taking actions themselves about the criminal activity that's going on in the stock. And look, if Wes Christian, if he's been doing this for over 20 years, if this man had probably over 20 some cases dealing with illegal naked showing the criminal activity in the stock, Surely, man, this man would not be telling CEOs that they have the ability to speak out and do something about it if he knew it was going to hurt their company or their credibility or it was going to do something to them from a legal, a legal perspective. He wouldn't be speaking out like this. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is, look, man, I'm going to close with this, man. Adam Aaron say that he can't see any evidence of illegal naked short. But he can see how to work together with predatory short sellers, work to take 90% of our shares, work on how to dilute the stock. He can see all that, but he can't see no criminal activity that's going on with the stock. Or no illegal naked showing. Everybody can see it, man, for him. Man, I'm just going to say, man, look. Something, man, is not right. Something don't smell right. It's foul. And I just think, man, it's a lot of retail investors in our community, man. They being delusional when it comes to Adam Aaron. But, man, if we want to get success with, the, with our Moaz, with our short squeeze play, with our stock, I think it's time for us to stand up to the board and stand up, man, for Adam Aaron and make them do their job. And I'm going to say this, man. I don't count a man's pocket. I don't have no problem, man, with the, with the millions of dollars 
that Adam Aaron has made. I don't have no problem with that. That's his blessing. See, God blessed him with that. I'm just saying, man, I think it's wrong for him to step in after, after him to step in after he'd had his blessings to step in and try to take 90% of our shares and prevent us from having our, our blessings. He didn't already got his blessings. So don't be selfish, man, and be greedy and try to stand in our way and prevent us from making life changing money or having a more ass, you know, or, or trying to kill a short squeeze play just because you want to protect one percenters. See what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. But thank you. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.